In this video I will demonstrate the setup and calibration of our brewery controllers for our HERM system configuration using gas PID control. I've modified my 5 gallon rib system by adding an old immersion wart chiller to what is now a gas fired HLT. In the discharge line from the heat exchanger I have placed my mash temperature sensor. I've sized the 10 inch banjo burner gas orifice to give my rim system a 2 degree Fahrenheit per minute ramp rate with roughly 5 gallons of water. To keep the ramp rate roughly the same, I've placed 3.5 gallons of water in the HLT and 1 and 3 quarter gallons of water in the MLT for a 2 to 1 HLT to MLT ratio. The HLT sensor is located at the HLT recirculation pump and I've placed a step mash and HLT controller at the bottom of the HLT so that I can video the controller and the burner flame at the same time to show how PID can be very effective with gas temperature control. I will now configure the system for HERMS operation in gas PID control. Enter the system setup and select MASH plus HLT control. We will be using both MLT and HLT sensors and controllers. Select HERMS and the units to complete the system setup. We will next go to the controller setup. Select PID for MASH control mode. Select GAS. Step through the P, I, and D controller settings by selecting the current values. We will calibrate and write over these values later. When testing your system for the first time, I suggest using a 30 second cycle time. I will now select on off for my HLT so that I will clearly demonstrate the controller switch after MASH completion and HERMS demonstration video. Now enter the PID calibrate function, select MASH. For HERMS I suggest selecting PID for the controller. Turn the MLT and HLT pumps on and run the calibration program. Calibration you are observing took just two hours to complete. Four should be an absolute max case for a really sluggish system. The first five minutes of the calibration process, no heat will be applied to establish a stable starting temperature for dead time determination. After five minutes, 100% heat will be applied for six minutes for HERMS system calibration to determine the dead time. After dead time determination, the heat will be removed for another five minutes to once again establish a stable starting temperature for gain in time constant determination. 20% power, 6 seconds of heat for the calibration 30 second cycle time will be applied until the system gain and time constant can be determined. Once the system parameters are determined we can display them. I suggest recording the dead time gain and time constant determined for your system for use later if you wish to modify your controller PID values to fine tune your system's performance. Controller values are determined and set for your system. We can now verify the calibration by quickly going to the manual control mode to check the controller performance. I will set the MASH set point to 140 degrees to see how the controller performs as it approaches and controls to the set point. We are approaching the set point temperature for settling in at 140 degrees. Notice that the controller will have a slight overshoot then undershoot. Also notice the delay I have in the burner light up. Even with this delay, we will have good temperature control better than that of an on off controller. Note that we are controlling on the MASH sensor and simply displaying the HLT temperature. Next, please see the HERMS gas PID demo video to observe the HERMS automated control process.